It has been a year since the first issue of Rana's magazine, Bokolo Pini Nani Tai, went on sale, and when I covered Rana's release last year, I wasn't sure if her distribution plan was going to work. People are used to the age-old tradition of waiting for a Vocaloid to go on sale, purchasing said Vocaloid, and then cooking up some fat beats at their leisure. But that hasn't really been possible with Rana, at least not the at your leisure part. Rana's voice bank activation needs to be extended every couple of weeks, which requires purchasing subsequent issues of her magazine. Even after a whole year, she still hasn't finished her release cycle. The 30th and final issue of the magazine will go on sale on October 27th, so her voice bank won't be available for permanent ownership for another seven weeks. I was worried that this subscription process would put people off, but that doesn't seem to have been the case at all. Rana has done very well, and she has over 1200 videos on Nico Nico, four times what some other Vocaloids have received in their first year. Now, some of you might be thinking that because it only cost a few dollars to pick up Rana's first issue, the high number of songs could have just been the result of people who tried Rana but didn't subscribe. So yes, as always, the number of songs a Vocaloid has doesn't necessarily equate to success or failure, but I can assure you that people didn't abandon Rana. While it's true that half of her total songs were uploaded within the first few months of her release, she has been receiving a steady stream of songs all through 2015, with almost 600 uploaded since January and around 40 within the last month. So even if you ignore the initial excitement and interest in Rana, she has been doing better than average. As for the magazine issues themselves, I'm afraid I can't say much about their contents, at least not in detail. I can say that each issue's package has a plastic shell that encloses a DVD for that issue, which takes up most of the thickness of the package. The DVD from the very first issue came with Rana's voice bank, singer-songwriter Light, Miku Miku Dance, and the Vocaloid 3 editor. I'm not quite sure what the subsequent DVDs have, though I believe each one includes a Rana song, judging from some pictures I've seen. I'm not sure exactly how many pages the issues themselves have, except for the first issue, which has 25 pages. The others may have more, since they are more expensive, but I'm not sure. And of course, I can't comment on the quality of the included tutorials, but given how many original songs people have made with Rana and her continued success, I'd say they're popular enough. You can even find videos people have uploaded to show that they have completed their quote-unquote homework assignments for given issues, which I think is pretty neat. Aside from the tutorials, interviews, and software, the Nari Tai packages also occasionally offered extras, such as additional Rana MMD models. The first few issues had MMD models for Rana's three pets, and some later issues included new Rana models based on some of her cover art, such as one with her winter jacket and another with her hair down. There's also a model for Rana's guitar, which is actually kind of cool, and apparently a chibi MMD model has been released recently. There's also this weird model of her with a crab on her head. Your guess is as good as mine. Additionally, some issues of the magazine were done in collaboration with other companies and IPs, such as issue 16, which featured a character from the game Seal No Surge. Issue 20 featured a character from a Japanese card game called Wheat Cross. Issue 24 wished happy birthday to a virtual idol character named Omori Anko. And the most recent issue, issue 26, has Rana cosplaying as Unity-chan, a mascot for the Japanese distribution of the Unity game engine, who will be releasing as her own Vocaloid in the near future. I was going to talk about how I wasn't sure what would happen to Rana once the magazine's run was completed, but Weaving has just announced that Rana will be getting a V4 update. Not only that, it will likely be releasing this December as a digital download on the Vocaloid shop. That means she'll finally be available to everyone. And there was much rejoicing. The final thing I want to talk about is Rana's fan art. Specifically, the disquieting lack of fan art. When Rana was first revealed, her eye-catching character design wooed everyone, 
and she received a bunch of fan art very quickly. And when I saw that she had over a thousand videos on Nico Nico, I expected her to have a ton of fan art on Pixiv too. But to my surprise, she's hardly gotten any more fan art than she had when I did her release video last November, less than 200 pictures total. You can find more artwork of her on other sites of course, but the low number on Pixiv baffles me. She's so adorable and colorful, how can people resist drawing her? Well, I suppose it doesn't help that when you search for her on Pixiv, you get redirected to the Japanese word for... Frog? <laughs> Yeah. 
かとても悲しい悲しい物語とても美しく手高い姿は使える者たちの憧れでしたの月夜の幸せに微笑む